In this Novell iPrint video, I'm going to show you how to update your iPrint system from version 1.0 to version 1.0.1. When using this video to help you update your iPrint appliance, we recommend that you also view the update section in the iPrint appliance administration guide. This guide contains more detailed information about the update process. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to perform the following steps. Export the configuration file from your existing appliance to the new appliance. Shut down the iPrint appliance. Download and extract the new iPrint appliance software. Deploy the OVF template and install the iPrint appliance. And, finally, import the configuration file. First, I'm going to show you how to export the configuration file from your existing appliance to the new appliance. Launch the iPrint Appliance Management Console, and log in as root, or the VA admin user. In the iPrint Appliance Configuration screen, select Export Configuration. Enter your eDirectory Administrator password. Then click Export. Save the iPrint config.zip file. Close the downloads window. Click Home to go to the home screen of the management console. I'm now going to show you how to shut down the iPrint appliance. On the iPrint appliance management console, click Appliance System Configuration. Click Shutdown. Click OK on the confirmation message. Next, Download the new iPrint appliance software to your management workstation, and extract the file. After you have downloaded and extracted the new iPrint appliance software, deploy the OVF template, and install the iPrint appliance. In the vSphere client, click File. Then click Deploy OVF template. Browse to and select the OVF file from the folder that you just extracted. Click through the wizard, and accept the defaults. In the Name field, rename the iPrint appliance to a name of your choice, then click Next. Continue through the wizard. Then click Finish. Close the deployment success message. You are now ready to power on and run the update process. In the vSphere client, right-click the virtual machine that you just created. Then click Power On. Next, click the Console tab. The iPrint appliance installation is started. Accept the license agreement. On the appliance configuration screen, Specify the network information for the appliance. This information must be the same as the network information for the appliance from which you are updating. After specifying the network information, click Next. On the Data Storage Configuration screen, select Hard Disk for the Data Storage Configuration. Then click Next. On the Warning message, click Continue Anyway. Click Configure. The iPrint appliance is now running, and is ready to be updated. I'm now going to show you how to import the configuration file for iPrint appliance. Launch the iPrint appliance management console, and log in as root, or the VA admin user. Click iPrint appliance configuration. On the iPrint initial configuration wizard screen, Select Upgrade. Then click Next. Next, browse to and select the iPrint configuration file that you exported from your earlier copy of iPrint appliance. Specify the eDirectory password. This is the password that you specified when exporting the configuration file. Then click Finish. 
Click OK to close the alert message. The iPrint appliance system restarts automatically. Your iPrint appliance system is now updated. Log in as the iPrint administrator and verify that your data has been carried over from the original iPrint system. This concludes the demonstration about how to update your iPrint Appliance 1.0 system to iPrint Appliance 1.0.1. For more detailed information about the update process, see Updating iPrint Appliance in the iPrint Administration Guide at novell.com/documentation. Thank you for watching.